welcome back to our channel. I have a very simple, easy recipe for you. It is homemade soft pretzels from start to finish, putting the first ingredient in the bowl to taking them out of the oven. You can do in under 30 minutes. So let's get going. You just need a few simple ingredients you probably already have at home, and you can make soft pretzels at home for your family. And also, we're only allowing good vibes today. Start by grabbing one and a half cups of warm water, about lukewarm, and we are gonna add this to activate the yeast. You can add the water into a bowl with two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast, as well as salt. So I am adding about three teaspoons of salt. I made this prior and my recipe tester, which is my husband, requested more salt. And let me tell you, more salt is key. Then add in one tablespoon of brown sugar and one tablespoon of melted butter. And now I am adding in the flour and it calls for three and three quarters of a cup to about four cups of all purpose flour and pop it in, you can knead it by hand or I'm just popping it in to my KitchenAid mixer with my dough hook. So I'm gonna let that mix and knead for about three to five minutes. I'm gonna add flour if it's still a little moist. The way you know it's ready is if you touch it and it bounces back. So when that is mixing, I'm going to get the boiling bath ready for the pretzels because you'll have to boil them before you bake them. So let's go do that step and then we'll get back to making the pretzels. To start the bath for the pretzels, you are going to add nine cups of water and then half a cup of baking soda. Now when the bath is getting to boil, I am going to just make sure my dough is bouncing back and ready to be making pretzels with, and then I just make equal sections and begin making the ropes that I will form into the pretzel shape. I would just recommend that you make them all the same size and thickness, that way they cook all the same in the oven, but you can make them smaller or larger than the ones I make here, and you can just get going and make them into all the pretzel shapes. Okay, so now that we have our pretzels made and the water is just starting to boil, we are gonna give them a little bath in the baking soda water and then top them with some salt and everything but the bagel seasoning and then bake them. And then you're gonna begin to take the pretzels and drop about one to two of them into the water for about 30 to 40 seconds. No need to do them any more than that and if you do more than two pretzels, they'll actually get a metallic taste, so I would just do one to two at a time. When they come right out of the water, it's the perfect time to add extra salt and some seasoning. You can do any seasoning that you choose. I did everything but the bagel seasoning and then I am popping it into the oven at 400 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes. pretzel I just pulled off a little bit very good my husband is my taste tester and I made these last week as a recipe test and he mentioned that they could use more salt so I added more salt also added everything on the bagel seasoning and I think they made perfect pretzels so thank you so much for watching this if you haven't already please hit the subscribe bar down below and like this video let us know if you make these pretzels and we'll see you for more recipes coming up soon on Sierra World see ya